Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be doing a interior video on this inn. We actually built this a while ago. I'm not quite sure why I didn't do the interior video right after we did it. Uh, must have not been doing them back then. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to fly through real quick and show you it in the Conquest Texture Pack, which is the one I normally use. And then after that I'll fly through and show you it in default just in case uh, you can only use that. Maybe that'll help you determine whether or not you actually want to watch the rest of this or not. I don't know. But yeah, so far it looks pretty good in this texture pack. The lighting really helps, but then I have actually seen this before and I'm not quite sure if you're going to like it. But anyways, with the default, here we go. Let's see. Resource packs. And here we go. So I mean... All these pictures definitely look different in the other texture pack, which is what definitely makes that one probably a lot better. But, I mean, just the lighting in this, personally, I think it's awful. But, oh well. I mean, some of it still looks good. I mean, all the tables are fine. Uh, the carpets definitely aren't as cool. You can't really tell that these things are cups. What else? Uh, the chandelier looks alright, I guess. The fireplace looks normal. But this room, I mean... The default texture pack really just makes this build look too modern, I think. And it's probably just the color scheme of it, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, before my eyes start to bleed, let's switch back. And then I'll walk you through it. Alright, so, let's start from the bottom and then work our way up. And I didn't actually do an attic to this build, so we'll just go through the two floors. I'm not sure if there was room worth there or not, but anyways, we go through the front door. And you've got this normal space, so it's going to be a total of about, let's see, is that six? Yeah, six blocks wide right here, and I just put a table right here, so two blocks on this side. And then these three are occupied by the table and chair, then there's this one wide gap. And then I guess we'll just move around this way. So right here in the corner, and it's extending out into the open air, is just this little couch thing. And to make the armrests for pretty much every single seat in this building, I just use the item frames, and those look pretty good, especially in this texture pack. It's got that nice, kind of luxurious red color, and then that nice little wood that kind of makes it stand out. Uh, but anyways, here is this 2x3 carpet that extends to the right of that chair. And then if you go back, let's see, 2, and then move it one to the right, you can stick in another couch uh, if you want it to look exactly like this. And then in the very back corner, I just stuck in a crafting table. And to get this candle, you're going to want to use a redstone torch, especially if you're in this texture pack. I'm not sure if any others... Yeah, I don't think I've seen it in any others, but I'm really liking the candle. Especially if you have Optifine, you can definitely see the wax going down. That's really cool. Uh, anyways, though, if you go three to the right of that, I place down another crafting table. And each side of this is it's pretty cool because it's varied. So you got drawers on that side, some more drawers on this side. But right here, you got some little different ones. So it's pretty much different everywhere you go. And then to add some greenery and a bit of variety to the color of the build, I added in that little plant. And then right of that, which I think is, yeah, five blocks wide, I made this big giant fireplace. Usually my fireplaces don't turn out too good, uh, like size-wise, and then pretty much like the look of the whole thing. But anyways, I believe this one, yeah, this is probably one of my best so far. Uh, so it's pretty much just three stairs going up and then one upside down on the very top and if you're wondering why this roof may be a little shorter than you're used to it's because I stuck in half slabs all the way along the top and then pretty much everywhere you had a wood pillar just do a wooden cross beam going all the way across except for certain areas like this area right here just because you do have this thing coming down so it looks better without them uh, but back to the fireplace so you got that uh, I already told you about the stairs and then this is gonna be one stair facing forward, and then two stairs facing to the side, making it so it's missing uh, that little, what would you call it, the one-fourth of the bottom part. And then, uh, pretty much, I guess I'll just show you half of it, because that's all you need to know. If you want to build the other side, you pretty much just flip it. So for the middle, actually we'll start from the left. So you got the stairs, then if you go back down, you have this half slab, then in the middle of that, is this cobblestone wall and then an upside down stair beneath that and then as you go back you just kind of fill it in with a little archway and since a fire will always burn down my builds no matter what I do I stuck in this pumpkin 
or not pumpkin, but jack-o'-lantern to add that little bit of lighting and then stuck in this fence just so people don't walk in and get fried like a chicken. And that is pretty much it. So for the middle, it's just uh, the iron bars and then an upside down. Is that an upside down? No, that's just a half slab. So bars, then half slab, and then that is pretty much it for the fireplace. And then also instead of just doing wood right up against it, personally I think doing some sort of stone looks a little bit better. You could even maybe raise it up. Probably not in a build like this just because you can't walk around, but if you've got more space, uh, definitely try raising it up, maybe one half of the block. And then, yeah, I already told you about the carpet. So we'll leave the stairs for the end since that will lead us upstairs. And then for this, it's pretty much just two to the left from that outside wall, and then two to the right. So you just have a three block corner right there, and then you can place your pillar and two sets of, is that three? Yeah, three tall stone slabs and then a cross beam above that and then another one right here so a total of four blocks wide and then two blocks in length and then I did this little closet and also to make things better instead of just doing uh, let me see if I can show you just a flat thing like this you could move the door back like I did so it's instead of being uh, right here on the very edge like a normal one would be I pushed it back and then placed in the stair so it's kind of an archway back and then you've got the door and if you've got time, then I would probably recommend taking these chests out and instead maybe making a little cellar down here to store goods for the bar and whatnot. Uh, but that's only if you want to. And then right here, I just did a little picture. So maybe they ran out of room in this little storage or covered space and their kind of recipe started overflowing and they had to place it right here. And so as we continue moving to the right, I started here on this wall. So. I think this was the original corner of the build from the exterior. Yeah, it was. So it's going to be right on this corner. Then you place this upside down dark oak wood stair, or not oak wood, dark spruce wood, I believe it is. Let me just check real quick to make sure I'm right. Oh no, dark oak wood. I was wrong. So anyways, place that one there and that is going to leave you a three wide gap to the right of it. Uh, oops, I'm bugging out there, not sure why. And then to make a little gate right here, I just put a trap door. So that worked out pretty well. And then skipped a block, then two blocks to the right, did two more stairs, and then three to the right of that. So that left me with a three by three gap right here. So I placed it in this cupboard, which is just a full block, then two upside down stairs above that, and then two upside down stairs on the very top. Then these two middle ones are full blocks, and then right here is just two upside down stairs. And something I like to do is make these cupboards and drawers. So this one would be an example of the drawer because you pull out with the anvil. And then these are cupboards because you grab onto the handle and then pull them out that way. Or if you're doing this one, it would pull out that way. So to make these for the cupboards, it would be just an item frame. And then you put in the stone slab and then just flip it around until you get it right. And when you do these, make sure the stone slabs are facing the middle. And then for the drawers, it's just a sign then you place in the item frame and then the anvil. And I believe this carpet is just the normal gray one. And for the cups, I just used the flower pots. And I'm ashamed that I couldn't get this one to switch over to this, because this definitely looks like a kind of mug that you would drink from. Maybe if I, yeah, that's good enough. Now they all look like mugs or kegs of beer. So we got that. And then right here in the corner, I placed a chair and I placed a chair over here, so one right up against the wall, then you skip a block, and then another one. And then right here, skipping one block in the corner, I placed in another table, which occupied three blocks. And I think the corner of the build was right here, so I added in this wall, which took up three blocks. And let's see, it's four from that side. And then this is just for the special guests, so I did two tables right here, not tables, but uh, the crafting tables. And put some flower pots on top of that for some greenery put this picture in. If you're using this texture pack, you can get it. It's just a shield and some swords crossing, so that looks cool. So maybe this is like the king's special room when he comes in and you can watch the strippers. And we've got a nice little front row seat too. Uh, so let's see, I did a table right here. And another thing you can do to really kind of add some atmosphere to the build is face some chairs other ways instead of just straight towards the table. So maybe this guy turned his chair so you could get a better view. 
So definitely do that and it definitely works because you can use the atom frames and even place them in small little cracks like this where you already have a block but it still fits somehow. So that's definitely pretty cool. And then right here I just did this rug. I think it's the black. Yeah, black carpet. And then this is going to be a total of four blocks wide by five. And so I did two upside down stairs on both sides and then a regular upright one. And then to make this kind of medieval disco floor, I just put in these pistons. And then the stripper poles are obviously fences. And then I put in some flags and other colors in the back just to add to the variety of the build. And then right here is just a table. It's a three by one with upside down stairs. And then again, face these ones on the outsides towards the insides. So you can make it so it's just that one fourth of a block on the very bottom instead of doing it like this or because that's kind of ugly personally I think so make sure and face it this way and then you get that kind of circular curve on the bottom of the block at least and for this table I just did a candle flower pot and then a picture behind it and then this is something I need to add to more of my ends I think it, this is the wanted poster board because back in medieval times and I think it was even like the Midwest they would have a uh, wanted signs and whatnot in their inns and brothels and taverns and pubs. And then, yeah, I think I already went over this, so let's move it on upstairs. And for the stairs, instead of doing a spiral staircase, I pretty much had room to do this little straight up one. So I just used stairs, I think it's a total of one, two, three, four, five it goes up. And then we have this fence that guards it so people don't fall down, and then two blocks away from this wall. You got your 3x1 little table set up, and then right here is where I crafted my room, so it's going to be a total of 5 blocks to the left, and then you can start putting in this wall, which is a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 8 blocks, yeah that's right, and then these rooms are just 2x3, and the left space, so for these I just did a bed in the back, and then just kind of crammed it up as much as I could, but still making it so I could have someone walk in here and sleep. And then I put some pictures on the wall just to make it so it's not as boring and put a little light gray rug in to make it have that nice cozy feel with the wolf pelt. And that's that. And then another thing you could do, which I would recommend, is leaving some doors of the build open. So right here we got this 3 by one table set up and then to the left of that, on this wall, which is actually, if you did, actually I haven't even showed you this yet, have I? So pretty much on the build you're going to have this when you made it this little jig jag corner thing so it's going to leave a total of two blocks wide space so go two blocks to the right and then you can put in this wall all the way across like that and so this is where you get one to put your flag and your door and also just like we did for the area downstairs make sure and have the door go back one and then place in oops that is the wrong block oh well it'll be fine for now so just like that then have your door and then three blocks to the left is going to leave you with that space. And then you can do this little tiny corner table and just place a candle and some greenery right there to make it look good. And then right here, which is going to be a 4 by let's see, is it just 4 by 5 wide gap? And then kind of do these half slabs all along the sides like that. And then that's where you can drop down your chandelier. And instead of just doing a big square like this for the chandelier, I made it a diagonal one. And then for the, all the candles, you just use the redstone torches, and then to add some color to the build, on this back little ledge of half slabs, I stuck in a few flower pots and some greenery. And then to make it so people couldn't fall off the edge, I used just the normal fences, and then to fill in this blank wall. I'm not sure if I already went over this or not, but I did place in that flag, which is just a picture. Look at that. And I guess I'll just go right and then back this way, so we continue around. Uh, right here, you got another little jig jag corner. Then you place in pretty much, yeah, this is the exact same as we had back in this room, just facing opposite directions. And that's going to be this table with flowers and whatnot. And then for this, I believe it is seven blocks wide. You're going to have this one by three table set again. And then one block to the right of this is where you put your. These are going to be the biggest rooms of the inn. And so they're going to be four by two. And so definitely leave some space in the back and then just shove your shelves in on the very back row and throw some pictures in there. Try to get as many spots like this where you have the candle in the window just so if people are outside at night they can see the light shining out. 
Uh, it definitely adds to the atmosphere and whatnot. But these are just bigger versions of the smaller rooms I already showed you back there. Because uh, they got the bed, pretty much everything the other rooms had. And they've even got this little rug made out of the bear or wolf pelt or whatever animal was killed to make that. Uh, and then you've got two pictures instead of one, like the other rooms. And then for right here, I kind of dug out the wall one block back and then added a table right here. So let's see if I can explain this better. So you got your three blocks. This is going to be a total of five, and then that's where you start to dig out your wall. So it's going to be a total of six blocks that you dig out. And then arch it a little bit since they're just having it be straight. Definitely put in that upside down stair. And while I've got this, let me fix this block. There we go. So definitely stick in that upside down stair, then place this thing for a little table and extra lighting if someone wants to find a book. And then place in these two bookshelves, and then your 3 by one table set, and then a flag for some color. And I believe that is everything. Then there's also this little room that I shoved in here. And that's just one of the smaller rooms, so only a 3 by 2 And that is that. Hopefully this was a bit inspiring and kind of gave you some ideas on what you could do for your in interior. Wow, that almost rhymed. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to let me know what you want to see next time down in the comments. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.